Hey, I'm Nana. And I'm your sister, Zan. And our mother taught us to use cooking as a conduit for love and good intentions. And we've grown up believing that transforming food into something that feeds your soul as well as your body, that's magic. Absolutely. And that's why we're kitchen witches. Not that we couldn't, you know, put a spell on you, too. Don't, don't tell them that. Okay. I find if you dip these, it's just the oil goes into them and it's, it's, it's too an much. oily mess, yeah. And this is why I invented for my own purposes, even when I make moussaka, I bake it because otherwise the oil absorbs and if you keep adding oil, then it's a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Here it goes. Here it goes. Bye bye. At what temperature are you doing that? Three, 375. Okay, 375. And watch it because you don't want it to turn to mush because these eggplant steaks need to be the foundation for some mama's meat sauce, which is... Ooh, dissonant. Yeah. That's hot. All right, that's really hot. Yeah, I'm telling you. Okay, that's, that's a great pan. And now we're going to... We put some olive oil in and about two hot. We'll turn it off for a while. Yeah. So three cups of sliced onions. Years ago, I sat down with my mother and I said, what is your recipe for spaghetti sauce? A spaghetti sauce that she served to many a celebrity, and including Doris Duke, who absolutely craved my mother's spaghetti, our mother's spaghetti. When they get translucent, we're going to add the brown sugar. Okay. And you're just going to sprinkle it on. Just sprinkle some? Yeah. Like a... Not too little. Like, a, like at least a tablespoon. Okay. So, because that's another sweet and salty thing that really works. And I'm doing, I'm doing the thing that you're not supposed to do, which is fussing with it. You're supposed to leave it. You know what? I have found that. With any kind of saute, don't fuss. Leave it alone. That's right. That's right. It Let it live. Why do you look like you're going to jump into a bath? Why does it look so big on you? Because I have a small face, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting out of a, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Time for the sugar. About a tablespoon. Let's try and see how it looks. Okay. I taste like it warm. So we're talking maybe a tablespoon and a half. I think so. And I still have to caramelize a little bit more. And let that sit. The guy hold it. Mm-hmm. We have a little helper over there. Yes. Have you named him? No, I haven't. Yeah. Well, he needs a name. Yeah. Uh, Pichon. I was going to say Pierrot, but Pichon is good. Pichon. I think Pichon. He's definitely Pichon. a P. Yeah, he's a P. Well, all right. <laughs> he's a Pichon. He's a Pichon. I think it's unusual to use sliced onions in a spaghetti sauce. I don't know if that's... Is it time for the meat? Yes, put the meat on, and we really need a masher. All right. If you have one. Well, or I've seen Mama do this. She just takes this. What a kissing. What if I do it with this? But look at how this is working. Yeah, that's working. So I'm this pressing pressing down the meat. And why don't you add a little salt to this at this point? You got it. Salt the meat. And we're going to be brave and let that just sit there for a minute. All right. Just press it down and let it sit there. I think this little onion came back all the way in. in the truck. Oh, no. Our continuing theme. Vegetable pity. Yes. Oh, Mama used to put this on the stove, and this thing would cook all day long. And she'd go and take a bath. My mother, our mother loved baths. Mm -hmm. She would take a bath, and she'd scream, Stir the sauce! Someone had to, do you remember that? Yep. We had to keep stirring the sauce. This is a bit laborious, but it is absolutely worth it. And you may think, hmm, all right, try it. It's unbelievable. It really is. It's amazing. It is. It's addictive. It's got an Arabic flavor to it from the sugar and the cinnamon yes. and the meat and the onions. Yes. It's really wonderful. You know I've never made mama's spaghetti? Really? I'm going to now.
I, I wasn't really sure of the process. Yeah, because there definitely is one. It's yeah. crazy. I don't think this is flattening enough. It's a it's flat not flat. Right there. No, we put flat. That's much better. Much better. I'm liking how flat it is. Yeah, kind of like my chest. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now you're going to make a well in the center of the pan. Okay, a small well. All right. Into which I'm going to put a can of tomato paste. Did you know that if men eat a teaspoon of tomato paste a day, uh, it really wards off a lot of ills. And tomato paste is one of the healthiest things that you can eat in your life. Oh my gosh! It's absolutely chocolate block really. Absolutely did not it's know not that. Me. Now, what you're going to do is slowly combine it like this. Side in a circle. Now we're going to add a can of tomatoes, and we sort of need a, I don't know if this spoon will break down those tomatoes, but she would break down the tomatoes. It looks like it's working. Mm -hmm. And incorporate that and lower the flame quite a bit. All right. And we add some cinnamon. How much would you say you're adding? I'm going to add half a, half a teaspoon. Yeah. And then I'm going to taste it. Oh. Is that amazing? Does that bring you back? Oh my God. It's crazy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Makes me six years old. Yes. But this has to cook and cook and cook and cook. And she liked doing it in a frying pan because she felt that it was more, it would cook more evenly rather than, you know, deep. So it makes sense. She always made it like this. We have to burn this butter. Basically, really, not burn, but brown it. Brown it, yes. So that exactly. um, it takes on this wonderful nutty flavor mm. and we're going to melt the parmesan we've put on top yes with our butter all right that's nicely oh, nutty beautiful yes we have cooked this sauce about two hours the longer the better though right the longer the better yeah. and you can tell how long by the color it's going to get a nice deep deep dark brownish red mm -hmm. as opposed to a bright red color so guide me as to how much, what would you want to eat? <laughs> okay. okay, I want to Should eat have asked that. Yeah, no. Okay. All right. Okay. And then we add some cheese. Beautiful, freshly grated Parmesan. Yeah, cheese. good quality. Lots of it. Please, no can. Right. Okay. And then the brown butter oh. melts. I that wish you could smell this. Oh. oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous, Sam. For you. Mm -hmm. For Mama. That's right. Okay. Now we need the diet's out the window. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Whatever. I want a knife and fork, please. Okay. No, I'm just no. Not nice. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Hey. That is okay. I'm serious. That's witchy. Mm. Witchy.